Do you want to know the 11 bourbons under $20 that you should run out and buy right now if you don't already have? Then stick around. All right, Wes. We have done several top X lists. Yes. And the, the people, the people have spoken. That's what they want to hear about. Mm -hmm. They want to hear us tell them what they should drink. Well, this is our recommendations. Recommendations, but... But it's a pretty good recommendation. You blew my mind the other day. You were at the liquor store and you said, Hey, do you want a bottle of... Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. And I said, you know what? For, what is it, 12 bucks? 14 bucks? Like 14 or 15 It's like 14 bucks. I said, you know what? Grab me one. Yep. I had never owned one. And then he brought it to the house and I drank it. And I was like, bruh, bruh. <laughs> why have I been wasting so much time? When you can just drink this delicious juice from the Lord above, it is so yes. good, right? Yep. yep. And so that got me to thinking, are there other under $20 whiskeys that people should be drinking? Absolutely. And so do you know what we did? We went out and we surveyed you guys. We went into Bourbon Real Talk community and we said, what are your favorite pours under $20? Yeah. And here's a list. What's the first one? The first one is one of my favorite distilleries. And if you've watched any of my... TikToks or heard me on this show, you know I'm a big Jim Beam, Jim Beam fan. So yeah. Jim Beam Distillery coming in number uno with the old uh, Black Label. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Black Label, it is $18.99 for $7.50 locally here. Proof is $86. So mm -hmm. a little bit lower in proof right. um, but it, than what you and I normally drink. Mm -hmm. And some of these are inexpensive because the proof is lower and they were able to add more water. Uh, but for me, uh, the, the, the age statement is non-age stated, but what I looked it up, it's rumored to be six to eight years. Right. So that's a good bit of age yeah. for a bottle that's under 20 bucks. Heck yeah. And then the notes are like peanuts or like peanut butter. Right. Right. They're typical beamy. T uh, typical beamy. beamy. Uh, number two, also from the same distillery, Jim Beam, is Old Granddad Bottled in Bond. What did to throw the 114 in here, but it's just over, just over. the 20. Uh, so the <laughs> Bottled in Bond uh, is 1949 in our market for a 750 milliliter bottle. It is bottled in bronze, so it's 100 proof. Yeah. And it is also non-age stated, but rumored to be six years old. Mm -hmm. And I get like this uh, orange like marmalade. So I was going to say that it it, it it hits me a lot, almost like a PB and J, mm -hmm. which is probably some of that like marmalade -y, yeah, fruity, like jelly with, flavor, with peanut butter, but with the peanut butter still in there. So it's, it's really good. It's really good stuff. And it's, it's usually pretty easy to find yeah. but inexpensive. Look on the bottom shelves. This is where you'll find a lot of these. And, and, it's, uh, and the other, the other thing that's interesting about this one is that it is the same juice as Basil Hayden. Basil Hayden, yeah. Which is like $40 a bottle. Right. And it's not any older. No. So it's, it's like- it's not any better. And it's not any better. So, it, you know, why not uh, Why not save a little bit of cash? So next up, and by the way, we have all of these in uh, distillery groupings, would be right. Ancient Age, which is a Buffalo Trace product. Mm -hmm. It is priced at $19.99 for a 1.75 liter. Gotcha. So when you do wow. the math on that, it's less than ten dollars a bottle for a seven fifty, so that's wow. pretty impressive. Yeah, only eighty proof, but I mean, what do you expect? Yeah, uh, for less than ten bucks, it is rumored to be three years old, but I don't see how that could be true because it is a straight uh, bourbon and it is non-age stated. Right. So for those of you who don't understand, if a bottle of whiskey is sold in the United States and it doesn't have an age on it, it must have aged for at least four years. Right. So I found multiple sources that said they thought it was three. It's non-age stated, yeah. so it has to be four, yeah. um, four plus. So I'm guessing it's probably they wait until it's fourth birthday and then they pull those barrels. All right. <laughs> well, speaking of number four, mm -hmm. that brings us to number four on the list. Another Buffalo Trace uh, product that they just acquired recently. Right. And that is the Early Times Bottled and Bond. Yes. Of course, with that Bottled and Bond, it's a 100 proof bourbon. Uh, it's right at 20 bucks in, in stores. Uh, sometimes you'll find it at 20. Sometimes it's just a little bit over for the one liter bottle that is right, right. So, so I some of these we had to do the math right so if it's a one liter bottle in this case it was 2049 that's below $20 right. for 750 yeah. so we included it yeah. um, non aid stated uh, rumored sure. to be four plus years yeah. uh, but bottled and bond regulations require it be at least four years so it has to be at least four 
And what I get from it right now, um, because it's still brown form and juice that's being yeah. sold. Yeah, well, let me guess, bananas. Banana runts yeah. for days, <laughs> banana runts. That's that brown form and kind that of. That brown form and kind of taste. Mm. Uh, number five on the list, we cannot leave out because mm -hmm. uh, this is a recent find for me. Okay. Uh, it's not been in Texas very long. No, it just uh, got here. It's been hard to find, and uh, but some good friends introduced it to me who are from up in the uh, Indiana yeah. and tried it uh, earlier in the year, and it was absolutely phenomenal for the price. It is Benchmark. Benchmark, and it's starting to move out in through distribution across yeah. the country. Price is $18.99 for the bonded product, so that's right. 100 proof. They yeah. do have a full proof that's just slightly above $20, but the yeah. bonded product, below below 20 bucks, 100 proof, yeah. uh, non-age dated, but it's bond bond, so it's gotta be at least four years. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing, it, they again, they pull it right at four years. Right. Um, and what flavor profiles I mean, do you get? So I've always called the benchmark like the Stag Junior Junior. Right, it's, it's yeah, like the, yeah. It's like the younger brother of Stag Junior. So I do get a lot of those cherry, kind of baked cherry notes that I get with the Stag Junior, like a cherry pie or something like that. Uh, so I do pick up on a lot of that in there. And um, from time to time, uh, you might get a little bit of like a grapey, like that yeah. Buffalo Trace grapiness to yeah. it. But the, for me, the overpowering flavor I pick up is the cherry. Hey, nice hat. Hey, thanks. Nice lanyard. Nice rocks glass. Thanks, man. <laughs> nice travel case. Nice blend topper. Thank you. Nice candle. Nice bottle bag. Thanks, man. That's a nice tumbler. Nice woman's t-shirt. Oh, thanks. Nice uh, extra schmedium shirt. Get yourself some nice things and get all the compliments that come along with it. Shop bourbonrealtalk.com. The next distillery, Heaven Hill, mm. and this is the one that, that inspired it, uh, Evan Williams. They have a small batch and a bottled and bond. Yes. As you can see, I don't like this at all. Um, <laughs> this little guy is probably the third or fourth of these that I've owned. So yeah. sweet little Evan Williams bottled and bond. Yeah, here. you don't even have to feel one bad about like if you're making a cocktail or whatever, but it's delicious neat too, so. You know, funny, you mentioned that last night, we were out on the town, my uh -huh. wife and I, yeah, yeah. and she got, uh, so the bar, the bartender messed up my order. I said, I'll have an Evan Williams bottle and bottle neat and a whiskey sour for my wife. And he put the Evan Williams bottle and bond in the whiskey sour. And I was like, where's my Evan Williams bottle and bond neat? And then he's like, oh, sorry, I misunderstood. So I got the neat and I'm sipping on the neat. My wife's sipping on the Evan Williams bottle and bond whiskey sour. And she's like, this is the best whiskey sour I've ever had. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's a great mix mixer and for 15 bucks, I mean, you can afford to mix it up all you want. Yeah, so I found uh, for 175s, you could get the small batch for $18.99 and the, and the uh, bottled and bond for $21.49. So both well below yeah. uh, that price point. The small batch 86 proof, the bottled and bond is 100 proof, um, non-age stated. Four years, same as the others. And I get a little bit of a orange peanutty flavor out of that as well. Yeah, peanuts so, for days for me. Yeah, and, and there are some days that the peanut sticks out a whole lot, and some days that it's more fruit forward to me, but mm -hmm. you know, you just gotta taste it and see yeah. what happens. Next up on the list, we have two products that are also Heaven Hill, JTS Brown and JW Dant. They're both bottle and bond products. They're both from the same mash bill. They're both priced at $12.99 for a $7.50. Yeah. Uh, so well below $20, of course, bottle bond, they're both 100 proof. Uh, they are non-age stated, but bottle bond regs, gotta yeah. be four years. At that price, it can't be much more than four years old. And both of them have that bean yeast peanut flavor. So for those of you who don't know, Heaven Hills uh, Distillery was totally destroyed by fire in 1996. Beam was a good friend to them, uh, not only let them buy some stock to keep their brands on the shelves, but ended up giving them their yeast strain. Mm. And so Heaven Hill products and, and Beam products have a similar peanutty flavor that's created by this yeast strain. Mm -hmm. um, if you try these two, JTS Brown and Jant, uh, JW Dant next to each other, they do taste different. Um, and when I tried to figure out a way to explain the difference, even though they're yeah. the same, everything is the same about their production, mm -hmm. it comes down to the barrel selection process. Yeah. This one tastes more like Dant, this one tastes more like Brown, mm -hmm. and they separate it that way. 
But the uh, JTS Brown had more of a grainy, uh, popcorn-y kind of flavor from yeah. what most people said. And then the JW Dant was more like floral and fruity yeah. forward. I would agree, even though I haven't. The, the JW Dant is the only one of the two I've actually had. Mm. So um, next time I'm at your place, we need to crack Check out some Dant, yeah. Uh, but the, yeah, the JW Dant's the only one that I've tried. And it's been a while back, but I do remember it being a pretty fruit forward uh, palette for yeah. me. So. Um, number eight, um, and not number eight because it's any less delicious than the others. There's no real order here. Yeah, there's no order here. Yeah, they're we're, all we're all friends. Yeah. These eleven are all friends in mm-hmm. our hearts, and uh, and this one is super delicious. We did a club pick of someone say whiskey not too long ago. Oh yes, and it's Ezra Brooks. Ezra Brooks, yeah. So uh, twenty ninety nine for a one point seven five liter, which is well below twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah. Ninety proof. It is non age stated again. Rumored to be four years. And what's interesting about this one is it's owned by Lux Row, mm. but there's no way that Lux Row has capacity to make as much whiskey as they are selling in this brand. Yeah. And so we know that it is um, their contract distilling it someplace. So that's interesting, but I get that, uh, that peanut butter, banana runts kind of flavor from it. Yeah. Um, and it's this is an interesting one because now that Sazerac owns it, it's going to be distilled at 1792. Mm. And um, they bought all the stock yeah. when they bought the brand. And we don't know when it's going to transition from, from Brown Foreman distillate over to the 1792. It'll be distillate. interesting to, yeah. to taste the two against each other. It'll be awesome. Yeah. Next up on the list is one of my favorite distilleries because they have so many products that I enjoy. Mm-hmm. Most of them are over that $20, $20 mark. Right. But there is one that is super delicious, and that's the Old Forester 100. Yeah, also known as the Signature Series. It is $39.99 for a 175 liter. So just barely came in under 20 bucks. Mm-hmm. If you buy the 750, it's over 20 bucks slightly, but if you do the math, um, 100 proof because it's, you know, the 100 proof signature series. Right, yeah. Four years. This one's interesting because they heat cycle the warehouse. Okay. And so you're going to get more Just, extraction from the wood yeah. by changing the temperature in the warehouse. So even though it's four years old, it might taste a hair a bit older. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's interesting. And uh, what flavor do you get on? Uh, Almost every Old Forester, I get that that banana runs. Banana runs. Uh, for so days. those are... Between them and Jack Daniels, I'm typically going to guess if I'm drinking one of those two, if I pick up on that. So yeah, that's what I get on the uh, old Forster. Next up, we have Barton, uh, 1792 mm. Distillery. Their inexpensive product is very old Barton, mm-hmm. 100 proof, ironic name. Uh, <laughs> it is 13.99 for a 750 milliliter bottle. It is 100 proof, so it's got a little bit of proof on it. It's not age stated, but it's rumored to be four to six years old, which I would not consider very old. Right. Uh, but uh, the 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 brand has been around for a very long time. So yeah, that's probably the very old. They're talking that's about. the very old part, um, and <clears throat> it has that classic 1792 flavor, uh, where it's like cherries, smoke. Mm-hmm. And sometimes the banana runs flavor. Yeah, yeah. But it's a combination. I always get cherry and, and smoke. Definitely get smoke for sure on, yeah. on 1792 stuff. So. And that's what I'm drinking right now, actually. Is it? Yeah, because you had a bottle, so I poured myself I some. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, it's only fitting to be sipping on a $20 bourbon as you're talking about the top 11. That's right. And we're at the end of the list. We're at the end of the list. So why don't and, you take this one? All right. So that we this one's number 11, and I, I had to squeeze it in there. It's Wild Turkey 101. Price is $39.99 for $175. So yes. an individual bottle is going to be over 20 but it technically... Yeah. So don't come trolling in the comments here. We're doing our best. We're doing our best. And we're and not mathematicians either. No, I had to get a calculator out. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but it's close. It's, it's close. close to that it's very good. Work. I mean, you can, yeah, technically you're getting 750 milliliters for less than 20 bucks if you buy yes. the big bottle. Yep. And really, this is number one in my heart. Absolutely. For me, this is this is my, I drink more of this than probably anything else. Mm-hmm. Let, it, it, excluding this list like I drink more wild turkey 101 than probably everything else mm. we use it for all our cocktails I drink it neat mm-hmm. um, so excellent product it is 101 proof hence the name and what's interesting about this one is it's the oldest average age for something under $20 mm. so this is a big value play because these barrels are six to eight years old yeah 
that's a lot of age for the price that they're selling. Absolutely. At. You know, there's a lot of angel share loss, so it's pretty remarkable that they're able to keep the price this low. And for me, wild turkey, I always get cherry. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice cherry note. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes there's a little bit of nuttiness on the back end, uh, but on Wild Turkey 101, mostly it's just a cherry flavor. Totally agree with everything you just said. So, all right, well, that's pretty much it. That's, that's it. That's our top 11. And if you're, and we've uh, we've talked a lot about starting your bourbon journey, mm -hmm. right? And so this is a great list for you. So tuck this list away on your phone, and next time you're at the store, Take your eyes down to mm -hmm. the bottom shelf. To the bottom Because there is really good juice down there. Really good juice. People have been sleeping on it. They've been sleeping. So don't sleep anymore. Wake don't up. Don't sleep anymore. Wake up. So if this is your first time watching the podcast, I want to tell you about our show philosophy. We are about yeah. bringing people together through bourbon. And connection is something that's important to me because I did lose a loved one to suicide. And in the aftermath, <laughs> I was looking for a way to help people feel more connected so that they didn't feel the way that my brother did when he decided to, to take his life. And the whiskey community gave me a glimpse into the connective power of whiskey. And I saw people of all walks of life getting together, forming connections, showing care and concern for one another. And that inspired me to start the podcast. Uh, that inspired us to start Bourbon Real Talk community. Mm -hmm. And I also saw, though, that when you get involved in these online communities, there are, what do we call them? We call them whiskey trolls. Whiskey trolls. Nobody likes them except them. Except for them. They only love themselves. <laughs> they love themselves. And they make it not fun. And I realized that if whiskey trolls can be hateful to you, even though they don't know you, I can love you, even though I don't really know you. And that's why we end every podcast the same way. And that's this. If you woke up this morning and you're unsure whether or not anyone loved you, just know that we, we love, love you. you. We'll see you next time on Bourbon Real Talk. Here comes my bride. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Quiet on the set. Uh, we're doing one quick recording. All right. <clears throat> How do, I, how do I start? Top 11? Top 11. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. You know how? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The next... Dis mm -hmm. We're really good at recording. We're good at this. We're so good. Yeah. Professionals. I put so much effort in on the hair that it messed up my vocals. Yeah. You know, I just, I don't know what to it's, do. It's, it's All right. hair product. It's man. the hair products. I don't know. Maybe I breathe some in. I don't know. All right. A whiskey troll is a person who seeks negative attention and uses contrarian attitudes to derail civil discussion in online forums. They communicate in ways they never would face to face because they're keyboard warriors. Their only goal is to make other people feel inferior. Hey guys, I'm new here. I just got my first Blanton's. And trust me, you probably paid way too much. I don't care much about the Blanton's, but nice <laughs> There's no way that she didn't buy that at secondary. Idiot. Oh, I know how you got that bottle. So, are you sick and tired of the whiskey trolls running your fun online? Well, that's why we started Bourbon Real Talk Community. Congratulations. Let me know what you think when you open it up. Hey, welcome to the group. Let me send you over a sample of Blanton's Gold and straight from the barrel. See how you like those. I remember back to my first bottle of Blanton's. It was the birthday to my son, and we enjoy it every year on his birthday. Congrats. So if you're looking to connect with some people online who aren't head over to facebook.com and join Bourbon Real Talk community today.